Yeah, baby. Yeah. Good. Good morning. morning. And a very happy coffee time. Flex Friday. Flex Friday in the house. We are here. It is Q&A day. Today, we are going to be answering all, not all, However many questions. We're going to be answering some questions. Yeah. From you guys. Wonderful. So, like, if you're here, hit us in the comments. You know how it works. And we're going to sing you a song. This is the Friday People song. No, better. This is the Friday ES Army song. And it goes a little something like this. Good, Good morning, morning, Danny, Danny Melissa, Melissa, Spring, Melissa. Oh, that's the same one. Heather, Mo, Mo Brandy, Veronica. Veronica. All right. All right. All right. Those are the first ones to comment. You want us to sing your name? You got to be one of the first ones to comment. Mm-hmm. But so good to have you here. Great to have you here. By also, the, just go. By the way. By the also, uh, if you have friends, and if you're in the ES Army, you have some friends, and they're not here, then be a good friend and tag them. Tag them. Be a good friend and tag them. Tag them. Okay, I see some new names. I want to say welcome. Tamara, Kobiani, welcome. Dana, Broadhead, welcome. That is not a new name. Huh? Oh, is it? Yes, I it think is. it is. You're right. Welcome. Um, I think I've just Spring, to her. I've Allison talked Comfort, to Spring. welcome. You guys, if this is your first time watching this, they're go not ahead, new to me. Go ahead and drop a one. If this is, if you're an OG, just go ahead and drop a double flex, yo. Bow, bow. Boo, boo. Anyone's allowed to drop a flex if we're being honest. Yeah, about that it. is true. That is true. But uh, <laughs> yeah, happy being around and around. That's amazing, Friday. I love it. Um, okay, so yeah, I, I just feel like before we get to questions, there's like some kind of obligatory, just like nonsense or shenanigans that needs to happen for pure entertainment. Okay. Because if we're being honest, really really truthful that is half of my job okay so um, I'm gonna tell a joke in case nobody saw my TikTok. I'm gonna tell a joke to you guys joke you heard this one what did 50 cent do when he got hungry I remember that one. That was a good one. Tell him. Let me make sure I have the right answer. You are so off. Okay, so first I'm going to tell the punchline, and then you're going to say what you just told me. <laughs> okay, what did 50 Cent do when he got hungry? 58! <laughs> oh. Now, what did you just tell me? <laughs> he ate a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie! Do not put me in the jokes department. <laughs> Dad joke gone wrong. Uh, All right, housekeeping. You guys, Take it away, serious Sally. We are three days away from the kickoff of the Transformation Kickstart Challenge. If you haven't already gotten yourself registered make it a point to do so you will want to be there we're absolutely going to blow your mind i don't care if you're new to the community i don't care if you've done like you know the everything TKC, that we like, offer five times there has never been a tkc like that so you'll want to make sure you you go there danny i already know you're on it so danny will go ahead and drop the link in the case that you haven't already signed yourself up and then I want to share with you another thought. That's a cute little thing there you got. <clears throat> you know, 
the TKC is, it's either a way, it's a great way to either like kind of like reset where you're at and just give you like a little, ooh, a jolt, a wake jolt, up, a wake jolt. up. If, if you've been on this journey, if you are just getting started, this is, this is the first step for a lot of people, okay? And I want to share with you a thought. I see, um, I want to give a shout out to Spring because Spring, I don't know if maybe you've already invited your friend Emily to this group, but you know, the fact that I see that you're new to our community and you are making it a point to tag your friends tells me that you are intentionally building a supportive system. You guys, you need to make it a point to build a supporting system in your life because if you are here for sustainability, look, you know, you need to get more people in your life who are swimming in the same direction as you are. I'm not saying that it's impossible otherwise, but it's just going to take a lot more effort. So if you know that you're already signed up for the TKC, make it a point to invite somebody in your life who has an influence over you to some degree so that they can, so that they can play the same game as you, okay? And if you haven't already gotten yourself registered for the TKC, make it a point to do so. Nicole, you're late. All you missed was like an awesome joke. Yeah. All right. Okay. Shall we get to some questions? Let's get to some questions. Let's get to some questions. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, today is the Nicole show day. I'm trying to see where where we left off last time right here ah which macros uh -huh. wait did we do that one no we did not no we did not do that one either i think we, that was the oh, yeah, yeah that was the last one okay this one is uh okay let's yeah let's do this one okay all right, question number one from Jessica Sweer. Jessica. Jessica, Jessica. Which macros, protein, fats, proteins, carbs. fats, carbs, do you consume first in the morning? I usually start the day off with peanut butter toast. So I suppose just peanut butter and bread, right? Recently, I, like heard, I heard that to start your metabolism, you need to eat proteins and fat first. What, what other, other quick and easy food would you suggest? Can I address something just first? <laughs> I think you what you're about to address is what I want to address too. There is so much shit yeah. everywhere on the internet. It's just like so much information and it, not to your y'all's fault. Like that is, it's just everywhere. People are like, you need to do everywhere. this and you need to do that and you need to do that and you need to do that. Do we ever tell you like what food you have to eat in the morning? Like there's a reason you're asking this question. You're like, Aaron and Sari would know. Aaron and Sari would know, which the truth is we do. However, there's like, okay, the answer is always it depends. <laughs> but here's the deal, here's why. Somebody can tell you all day like, oh, scientifically, this is the best thing to do this and that. But at the end of the day, if you don't like doing it, you're not going to keep doing it. So what would be the point? So mm -hmm. the best thing, I always have a hard time like, the best thing. The best thing you can do is the thing that is healthy for you, that is going to help you make progress towards your goals, that you can do consistently. That from a principle standpoint, it works and that it fits into your life. That's it. So now we can get into the question. Like, okay, she said, what do you consume first thing in the morning? First thing in the morning, we consume lemon water, actually. But I think she's talking about in terms of food. Gotcha. But you're taking yes. it literally. Well, she, okay, she said which macros. Okay, so the first ones that I consume is actually protein and carbs. I consume Straight all up. three. 
straight up answer to that. So, actually, I do too. They're a little bit broken up though. Jessica Swear, I think you're in the raw currently, and we go over it in the raw a little bit. We, we, we spent two weeks on it. Um, the reality is, is that when it comes to your meals, in general, you want to have your meals balanced, okay? What is a balanced meal? A balanced meal includes, you know, all the macronutrients, proteins, fats, and carbs. Now, you know, how, if you interchange that depends on your preferences and your lifestyle. So, you know, a toast with peanut butter, not wrong. Is there a way to optimize it? Yeah. I would like for you to have some protein in there. You, you've got carbs, you've got fats. And then with regards to, I heard that eating carbs and fats boosts your metabolism. Guess what? Putting anything in your system boosts your metabolism. So if you were to go, I'm not eating anything versus I'm eating carbs and fats, yes, of course, it boosts your metabolism. However, is this the most ideal meal that you can have? I think that, you know, there is a way to improve that. And like I said, adding some protein to it, I would say, you know, like, add a protein shake or maybe a couple hard boiled eggs so that you can make the meal more balanced, that would make that even better. And the other thing that crossed my mind, like a, like a, like a chicken across the street, uh, was that there is this idea that peanut butter is a protein. Is a protein. Yeah. Now, peanut butter has... Boogie would agree with that. Peanut butter has good protein in it. Boogie. Because the other thing that I thought was like, maybe she thinks she's eating a protein and a carb. Where I would call it a fat and a carb. Now, peanut butter has good protein. But the ratio of fat to any other macronutrient is much higher than fat. So that's how we consider that. Um, so Jessica Swear, Jessica. to answer your question, your breakfast is okay. Can we improve it? Yes. Now, my question to you would also be, what is the element, what are the elements of your morning? Yeah. What, what are the elements of your morning? Because, yeah. and this is why, like, we, we educate you guys the principles and we help you to make decisions because we cannot apply that as a blanket statement. You know, it's like the conversation that we had about saying, um, you know, using words like always or using words yeah. like never, right? It's like it, you are putting things in a box when you say it that way. And, you know, like what... It's like an ultimate, like an all or nothing. Yeah, what matters is that, you know, there is an understanding of the principle and considering the elements of your life, you implement it in a way that fits for you. So, yep. Nice work, Jessica Swear. What did you have for breakfast before you had the toast with peanut butter? I would be curious to know. Um, all right. The other, um, the other thing I do want to say is typically a way to improve or to make sure that any meal or snack is good is if you have a source of protein just every time you eat. As a general rule, like each time I consume a portion of food, have a protein in it. Always. Usually, and I would say women especially, lack in the protein department mm -hmm. for consumption. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go. 
Veronica Serna. How do you calculate body fat? The way I've done it in the past is by measuring hips, waist, and neck. What would you recommend? What do you do with those measurements? So, look, measuring measuring your your hips, waist, and neck, that measures your circumference. Okay? And circumference measurements, they're very relevant, but it's completely different than body fat. You measure body fat through... Um, you know, like a, a body fat There's machine. A few ways. There's there, a few ways. Yeah, there are a few ways. Um, you know, a lot of the newer scales now have bio, bioelectrical impedance that also measures body fat percentage. So you can do it this way. We really like the in-body machine. The, the in-body machine measures your body fat percentage. There is also the most accurate one is the DEXA scan. The DEXA know. and the hydrostatic measures. Hydrostatic, I would say, would be more. Hydrostatic accurate. is the, yeah. Hydrostatic is where it's like you get weighed underwater. So, yeah. Um, now, and it measures uh, buoyancy because fat will float. Um, so it's like how much you weigh underwater, there's a calculation anyways. Um, so you can't, you can't screw that up because it's like if you, um, you know, eat a big meal and then you go get on the scale, like you'll weigh more than you did before you ate the big meal, but your, your fat mass is not going to change. Like that's not going to, that's not going to affect your fat mass within a matter of just that moment. So, um, you get weight underwater and then yeah so uh here's the thing about like there's those there is okay so super old school skin calipers are those little uh pincher things they're skin calipers uh which i would use on all of my clients when i was at when i was a trainer um and you would measure certain parts of it'd be like uh, bicep tricep um uh, part of the belly and then uh, a quad or quad or calf there, there's a four point pinch there's a nine point pinch there's uh, several ways to do it depending on like the level of accuracy that you want uh, that one is not typically used very much anymore and I would say probably newer trainers don't know how to use it but then there is bioelectrical impedance, which is the little metal things. Maybe basically it sends an electrical current through your body that you don't feel. Um, the scales have it. There's handheld ones. There's the in body that Sari talked about where your feet and your hands, um, the current is going through um, all of your limbs, not just your feet. Um, and then there's hydrostatic weighing, which is underwater. And then there's a DEXA scan and the most accurate would be the hydrostatic weighing. If you're doing a bioelectrical impedance, if you're doing skin calipers, like old school, you have a personal trainer to do it, make sure that they actually know. If they're, I would say if they're under the age of 30, they probably don't know how to do them. Um, because they're afraid to pinch you. No, it's just like, it's not used as much anymore because we have the bioelectrical ones. Mm -hmm. um, and you just press a button and turn it on. But, um, the thing with the bioelectrical, I think is probably the most popular because it's the most simple to use, mm -hmm. but you have to consider there's tons of variables that go into that. Um, I would say the major one being your level of hydration because the current will move faster or slower through your body, depending on how hydrated you are. So if one day, like, so the goal on any of these is consistency. If you pinch, you know. You, like when I would pinch, I would literally like measure where am I pinching at so I could pinch that client in the same exact spot every time with the calipers. So I'm not one day, I'm, oh, I'm pinching here, and then the next month I'm pinching up here. That's not consistent. So, um, you know, if you are more hydrated, the electrical current will flow through you faster, saying that you are leaner. If you are less hydrated, the current will flow through you slower because there's less water and it will think that it's catching more fat. 
it will think that it's catching more fat and it will say that your body fat percentage is higher. So um, there is... Can you measure this? There's also... With what? Man, I really want what do you want me to measure it with? Oh, I'm up. I my go-go go gadget I wanna, ruler. I wanna. Do we have a measure like a downstairs? Where? No, I think in the closet. Which closet? Like By the, the garage. Where? Oh. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna continue on. Um, I'll be right back. Because since I don't have a go-go gadget ruler, first read. Uh, the other thing that is a variable with the results of the bioelectrical impedance measuring unit is going to be um, how long since you last worked out or exerted a, a good amount of energy. Um, did you poop? Like when was the last time you pooped? Um, If you do it in the morning versus if you do it at night. So the whole goal in those is like, if you're gonna use something like that to be consistent with the time of day, your level of hydration, you know, I wouldn't work out for several hours bef before you do it. Um, those type of things to consider. <clears throat> I'm not frozen for those of you who are having issues with the video. I hope it's all cleared up. Sarit's going to come back with some magic sauce. I'm not really sure. Um, just starting the TKC. This question is from Heidi. Just starting the TKC. Are the meals recommended or mandatory? The only thing that's mandatory is that you show up. Do whatever you want, but uh, the meals also recommended or mandatory. The meals are just there in case you want them. You don't have to eat them. Uh, they're just there to give you uh, another tool to be successful. If you're not so savvy in the kitchen or you uh, want to make something different, but you're not sure what to make and you want to know that it's still going to be healthy. So the, the meals that we, um, I guess I would say recommend there are those, uh, but absolutely not necessary, absolutely not the only option that you have um, to be successful in the TKC. The main thing with the Transformation Kickstart Challenge is going to be literally that you show up. I am not even kidding you. If you didn't even do anything, if you literally didn't even open any of the resources we gave you or the workouts, you didn't do a single workout, you didn't even eat health, if you show up to the videos, we'll blow your mind. Ah, and be open-minded. Which if you watched the video after you signed up, that was one of the four pillars, if you remember. Next question, I'm gonna bust through these. Espresso with Erin and Erin. All right, next question is from Shani, Shanae. I always wanna say Shani. Shanae, Shanae, Shanae. I went to high school with a girl named Shanae. Shanae, I don't remember her last name. Anywho, uh, can you explain your motto more? The eat something mostly plant one. Haha, ha, I can't remember it now. Who knows it? I uh, wouldn't call it a motto so much as like a prince, a staple principle for nutritional guidance. Look in the comments. They're about to fire it up. Can't find it. They're about to fire it up. Did you have fun on your field trip? Yeah, didn't find it. I'm waiting in the comments. Eat real food, not too much. Mostly plants. Um, and when we say mostly plants, that doesn't mean vegetarian. I feel like that is a common consideration. <gasps> Do you mean like not meat? No, like eat real food, don't eat too much of it, and eat a lot of vegetables and fruit and berries. 
plants. Plants. <laughs> I love it. Plants. All right, on to the next question. From Melissa. Ooh, diastasis recti. Do Sounds you, like a dirty word. <laughs> do you have any modifications for core work? Pretty sure I have diastasis recti. Yeah, Melissa, great question. So first, can we talk about diastasis recti? I was going to. So, like no, yeah, but like, it. can we talk about what it sounds like? First, diastasis sounds like it's going to be a bad word. I don't know why. And then recti sounds like it's going to be a Rectum. dirty word. Yeah. So diastasis recti. What is it? Death of before your rectum. <laughs> no, is wrong. What? Is that wrong? It's not the right answer. You're joking with me, right? Yeah. <laughs> so diastasis recti. This is very common amongst women who, um, you know, have buried children. That is. Also, um, if there was an extreme weight gain, that is possible as well. Basically, diastasis recti is the separation of what's called your abdominal linea. So like that main line that goes down your abdomen. That you can see on the screen. Okay. That it's the separation of that line. So it, it almost, so it's like whenever you sit up, it almost looks like there is like an embryo like just coming at you like good morning um it's like uh yeah like your tissue is like that but it's like it's it's coming apart and then like your intestines start to like pop out yeah yeah in between it um it's weird to think about so you know the core exercises that i would recommend for you to do for that Number one, dead, bu dead bugs are freaking fantastic. I know that we have, um, you know, videos of that on YouTube. The other ones are called stir the pots. You're going to need a Swiss ball for it. And you can start from a kneeling position or as you get more advanced, you can start from your feet. But basically, it's putting your elbows on a Swiss ball. And then, like, I remember when I used to be a personal trainer, like, I will tell my clients, like, like what's in your oatmeal today and like I'm like stir the oatmeal as like they're you know on the Swiss ball and you can really feel your core working it works it in a way that's called um, rotation and anti-rotation so it helps you to you know strengthen your core through those movements and then with regards to dead bug it it is a very simple and effective way that allows your core to brace I would say depending on the severity of the diastasis recti. I can't say Shock that without so feeling great. as well. <clears throat> I would say depending on the severity, because some people, like you do planks, it's like you can't you can't do that on a Swiss ball. So. Um, but more upright rotation, anti-rotation. So, so like you said chop. you said chops or like a stir the pot, but with like a band yeah. or like, um, you know, press outs. Um, if you've got a, if you've got a, like a pole, like a s squat rack or something, and then you attach a band to the bottom of it and the band is coming out, the band comes out. Um, this is your band. Okay. And you're like kneeling down right here and the band is pulling to the squat rack. And so you've got tension on it and you're holding the end of that band like maybe in a full kneeling, so like on two knees or something, and you're like sitting up, not sitting on your ankles or your calves, but like sitting up on two knees, and you just press the band out and then come back in. Or you could do like a stir the pot with that, but okay. it's like pulling from the side. I feel like this would be a really great YouTube video. This would be a good YouTube video. Danny, can you please create a document that says, ideas for YouTube video and then, oh gosh, what's happening? I almost fell out of my chair. And then in it, if you can write um, exercises for diastasis recti. 
we should just do the like the three movements because I know that as somebody hearing it, I'm like, I'm like, dude, just show me how to do it. So, yes, pal of press. Look at you, Hannah Weathers. I'm trying to put it in like, be like, a what? A plantain chip press? What did she say? Uh, okay. By the way, if you're not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, you'll definitely want to make it a point to do so. Okay, write it down right now. After video, go to YouTube channel. Go to YouTube channel, subscribe. We are busting through these. Ooh, oh, this Amy. is a long one. Okay. From Amy. Amy asks. By the way, if you guys have questions, there is a form and you can submit your questions on that form that I know that Danny is already about to put in the comments. We are, Danny is like this on and it, this dude. and this, she's on She's it. got them up. She's like, boop, this is what you need. Boop. Danny's like all face, boop, boop, boop. Facebook she's, Jedi. She is go, go gadget Facebook. Okay, <laughs> question. <laughs> I need more clarity on taking BCAAs as a supplement. All right. Anybody else need more clarity? I have heard, I love it when sentences start with this. I have heard a lot about BCAAs and some of it is conflicting. It's like everything else. Classic. You know what? Here's the deal. Even what we say is going to be conflicting to what somebody else says. Here's, can I just say something real quick about like where people are getting information? Because this is like, you know, it, what if what if what we say is not true? How do you know? How do you know? How's this chair? Okay, I digress. Where you get your information. If it's like a Google thing that just like, you have no idea who wrote it, um, I probably wouldn't use that source because you know, people can pay for marketing to get their stuff up to the top of Google so that you click on it. It doesn't mean it's valid, but they know that you're gonna think it's valid and then it gets you to look at all their stuff. So, um, it's you have to consider like who's delivering the information and a few of the things that I would consider from who's delivering the information is, what is their background? Not I'm not even talking like education, you mm -hmm. know, or like, you know, traditional education, schooling. I'm talking about like, what is their personal background? Like, have they been through what you're trying to get through? How did they do it? Are they helping other people do that or no? Are they just like vomiting information? Do they have no idea? Um, do you not know if they have any idea? I guess it's like, I, I would be curious to know, like, why do y'all trust me and Sarit? Mm, I love that. I'm not looking for a compliment, but what this is going to do, if you if you consider, like, I don't know if you've thought about it, but, like, why do you trust the information that we tell you? And then whatever that answer is should be, I guess, what you look for when you are looking for other sound information. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, what I think about when I, I'm going to get to the rest of this question, but this is very important because almost every, important. almost every question is like, oh, I heard this, but then I also heard that, which one is true. And this like holds so many people back. So what I consider when I'm looking for information, I will use, um, I will use business as uh, an example because this is just, we've been trying to learn how to do this for the last four and a half years. Uh, we're not perfect, we started at zero. <laughs> we knew that we had um, amazing intentions. We knew that we had a strategy. We knew that we had um, a message that people needed to hear. We knew we could execute on this. We knew that we could um, you know, really help people with the skills that we possessed in this like body transformation world. Knew nothing about business though. It turns out you kind of have to know, otherwise you just like, you die. You, you can't keep going. We won't be able to keep doing the mission if we didn't learn about business also, right? Okay, so when I'm looking for any kind of help, I consider, has this person done 
what I'm looking to do? Have they maintained what they've done for an extended period of time through different cycles of time, whether it's like, economic, yeah, just like, you know, through the peaks and valleys, have they maintained it? Do they help other people? What is the success that those other people are having or not? Um, you know, also looking for credibility via like, you know, who else are they kind of associated with? What do those people, what's that, those people's track record? Um, and I, I'm looking for less schooling or like proper, like not proper, but like traditional education and more the school of hard, the school of hard knocks because nothing will teach you better than, what your, have you done? than your own fuck ups. What have you done? Then your own fuck ups. Yeah, like for then your own fuck ups. As long as you learn from them. You guys, this this is how we choose our mentors. Okay. Also, and, also, and also, what is their character? Absolutely. What, what is, is their character in the public, and what is their character not in the public? Mm -hmm. This is how we choose our mentors, and we're very cautious about who we take advice from because. <laughs> So everybody has it. We we have two mentors that we study deeply, okay? And you know, one of them says opinions are like assholes, everybody's got one. Okay? So it, especially and most like of them stink. Nutrition, diet, fitness, like you're going to hear everybody tell you something, okay? Like close your ears, close your brain, tell people please do not sneeze on my brain with information you guys what is being spoken can be more poisonous than you know it's poison it's poison honestly like the shit that's out out there is poison so you know my recommendation for you is you know people who are very like avid you need to be cautious about it because if you if you research a lot of things in a lot of places you are learning from a lot of people but you are probably taken away from the main principle that you need to focus on okay like just like us we we make decisions based on the recomm recommendations that we get from two people everybody else has an opinion my mom has an opinion my dad has an opinion like we don't care show us what you've built show us for how long you've been you've been able to sustain it and what is your true character and i will be drawn to you and immerse yourself when you once you find that person i don't care whether it's us or somebody else immerse yourself dive deep don't just swim in the kool-aid dive in it swallow it have it all over you for years and years and years and years because your job is to emulate that person like dive so deep that you you think you start thinking like them. Why are you kicking me off the screen? I don't know. Um, that you start thinking like them, and you start you you you've built an environment like them, and and you become like them. And you should want to be better than them, by the way. Over time. Um. So. <clears throat> to start that off, yeah, just like you're gonna you're gonna hear conflicting information about nutrition, you're gonna hear conflicting information about dieting, you're gonna hear nutrition conflicting information about you know squats, about eggs, about vegetables, whatever. But you know, get your information from a consistent place. And Amy Ponytair, I know that you're doing that. Um, so I want to say. Can some, I get back to the question? After okay, this? hold on. I want to say. I want to say um, some of the things that you guys said. So I want to repeat this back to you. So when you're looking for information on something that you want to achieve, okay, if you want to be able to freaking take the car engine apart and then put it back together, how do you know who's going to give you the right information? Okay. It, I don't, it doesn't matter, whatever, whatever you want to do, okay? If you want to learn how to grow the best garden in the, ever, how, who are you going to get your gardening advice from, right? So here's what I saw you guys say in the comments. Relatability. 
I can relate to you. There's something you've been through that I understand. Okay. Um, and usually what follows is like, you have, you have succeeded at the thing that I'm in. And, and so I can relate to you trust. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's based on how we share things from our personal life, how we're just very like open about stuff. Uh, vulnerability. That's the openness. Okay. So somebody has got to relate to you. They've got to be like obviously open. Um, and not, not, I would even say not just to the fact that they, they think that they're always right. I always consider if somebody has a different opinion than me, like, Oh, what could be, you know, is there something I could agree with about like being open-minded to that? Uh, we practice what we preach. Okay. So is that person doing what they're telling other people to do? That's a huge red flag if they're not. And this is why it's going to sound really harsh, but like, this is why if a, there's a personal trainer that's overweight, it's a real thing. I've worked with them. They're not as successful, not because they're not as smart, not because they're not good personal trainers. Like they don't have the knowledge. They can't help somebody, but because if you don't emulate what somebody else wants to achieve, you will not be approached by them. It's very surface level, but is very much a reality. Hold on. And so it's like, okay, well, am I going to go to the dentist that has fucked up teeth? Probably not. Why would, why would I trust? There's a level of trust, right? It's like, wait, wait, wait. Like, are you doing what you'll tell me to do though? Like, I don't know if I can trust that, right? Um, proven through experience. We've achieved what you want to achieve. We are straight up. We're honest, genuine. There's been a lot of things that we've said that you hear that you're like, shit, they know me. Whoa, like, are you speaking directly to me, right? Uh, and that's because we've been in your shoes. So when you are considering advice, and now we'll get back to the question, when you are considering like the things that you're hearing or information that you're getting, just take a look at like, what's the source of that information and do I trust the source? Mm -hmm. It's like the best advice I can give on that. Okay, I'll start the question from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I need more clarity on taking BCAAs as a supplement. I've heard a lot about BCAAs and some of it conflicting. Uh, I've heard if you take them, and I'm talking about specifically B BCAAs, not a whey or complete protein shake, and if you are missing other amino acids, you need to complete them. They are wasted or worse stored as fat, but I also heard that you can take them as a serving of protein to help recovery with less calories than a whey supplement. Also, are they better for a pre or post pre or post supplement? Probably workout, workout supplement or any time in the day. Is anybody else confused? Yeah. That's I think so let's just talk about BCAAs. Let's just talk about what happens when protein is broken down in our genetic code, because that will just get straight to the point. Yeah. What are BCAAs? Branch chain amino acids. Okay. So amino BC acids. BCAAs are a supplement of branch chain amino acids. When you eat protein in your body, it is broken down into amino acids. Now, you guys, your body is the greatest machine ever. Based on what your body needs your in order to repair, right? Because amino acids are used for repair and rebuilding of tissues in our body, okay? Your cells, okay, have what's called organelles, which are like tiny little micro, you know, like factories in them that create the amino acids necessary in order to rebuild and repair whatever is needed. Okay? So, your body is really, really smart. Do you think that back in the day when, when we were cavemen 100,000 years ago and there were no such thing as supplements, you know, like, how did people, you know, rebuild and repair themselves? Our, th this is why our body is so great. It's because it has evolved. Now, here's something else that's also happening in the food industry that we need to consider. 
a lot of marketers know that if they sound really smart, they're going to convince you to get their product. Yeah. True story. So what? So yeah. a, what? A lot of people try to do, which they is very like tech, frustrating. Technical jargon. They're they're going to they are going to to throw information at you that makes them sound so smart in order to build credibility. Do you know what else I've seen people do? So in the process, what do they do? They confuse <coughs> you. You get you get lost in the confusion, right? But in your subconscious, you're like, wow, I'm impressed. This person sounds super smart. And then you buy the product. But your body does that shit anyways. Point is, Amy P, eat your protein. Consistently. And, you know, there's BCAAs, um, like, for example, in the ex-endurance protein, there's BCAAs in it, okay? If you're taking BCAAs, it doesn't matter when you drink it. You can drink it all day long. Something to note with regards to a lot of BCAA supplements is that a lot of them have sucralose, which is an absolute garbage for you. However, if you are consistent with getting your protein through, you know, just your nutrition, you're fine. Okay, so no need to get lost in, in translation, okay? Let's keep it simple, let's keep it real. That's one of the things that we do, you guys. Like, we take confusion out of the process by simplifying shit. Drives me nuts when I hear that. Because when I, I know what a marketer is doing when they're trying to use, oh, blah 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 and now like they're not speaking your language anymore it sounds like chinese no that's not a way to build credibility you know that somebody is a genius when they can take a really complex process or situation and teach it to somebody like they're a six-year-old that's how you know that they really know what they're doing because they care more about you understanding it than them sounding smart somebody who tries to sound really really smart cares more about how they're being perceived by others rather than what am i giving to my audience or to the receiver okay you're gonna say something and i'm gonna shut up no i no longer need to say that thing i'm just gonna be writing a silent book about it all of it Everything I'd like to say that I don't get to say because Siri completely disregards the fact that I said, do you know what else I see? I'm going to write, it's going to be in a book. Come on. No, you're going to have to buy the book. I will buy Butch. the book anyways. You're going to have to buy my and book. And I will help you to market that shit. Just My Opinion by Aaron Silenced Atwood. <laughs> you're going to help me market the book. Who's been watching our TikTok live? <laughs> if you watch uh -oh. the TikTok live from like two days ago, <laughs> I took you to spin class. <laughs> the cool thing about the live is, well, I don't know if it's really cool, but they don't, they don't stay on there. Mm -mm. And you can play whatever music you want. True. You guys should all follow us on TikTok. And you need to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just saying. Subscribe to all of the things. Just remember what Sarit said. Just dunk yourself in it. Dunk yourself. Dunk. Dunk. Soaked in ES material like a hot South Florida workout. That's what we do in the TKC, by the way. We immerse you guys so deep so deep so as we're heading into next week can you who's doing the tkc Dude, they're already giving me my chapters of my book if i've already got like seven chapters <laughs> if you did you hear about the book i'm writing yeah yeah if, it's gonna be really good <laughs> if you're yeah and w w usually when i get interrupted by you like those are the things that's gonna be in the book if you're doing the yeah and remember <laughs> tkc is coming up on monday <laughs> if you're doing the tkc let me see you drop a hell yeah let me see you drop a hell yeah. That's what it feels like. 
I've interrupted Sari enough times. Hmm. It's like payback. Um, okay, but hold on. Let's just look at the chapters of my book really quick. Okay. There's a chapter on take your pants off. Um, there's going to be a chapter on uh, TikTok jokes. Uh, you're going to be my silent partner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll take all the chapter recommendations. I've got to make an outline at some point. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. TKC round two. Bring Let's it. go. So, make it a commitment to Im immerse yourself next week. Make it a commitment to immerse yourselves, you guys. We are going to spew fire on you. Spew. Fire! We are going to spew it. Can I show them the TikTok that I, that I post this one? Yeah. yeah, and Erin wants to show you her TikTok, and then we're going to wrap it up for today. Do you guys want to see my TikTok? I mean, oh, you guys want to see a TikTok that's not been posted yet? Mm, I don't like that one very much. Which one? This one? It, oh, well, it has that 17, one. It has 17,000 views in less oh, than a I day. Oh, so. I thought it was this one, not that one. Yeah. You're not very entertaining in that one. No, I'm not. This is a good one. Okay. I did this one this morning. What is that? Why is that playing? It's weird. All right. Here we go. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. What's the, what's the scenario? Okay. Where is it at, right? I tricked her. Oh no! Na 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 na. I was uh. I was ready to to be like, oh my gosh, are you like I've, I I was just processing it. I'm like, what is going on? Like I I, I was like, is that a dance move? I'm like, no, she hurt herself. And then as I was gonna then, like come grab you, she's like dancing on me again. <laughs> I'm like, she's like, jokes on you. I that was her, a good one because she, her, she she had a back surgery. I knew it was going to work. Uh, she, I was like, this is going to be a dance one, but I can't tell you about it. Like you, but you're going to know when to dance. So like, just go. Yeah. I was just ready for your whatever. And then I'm like, I'm like, what's going on? <clears throat> All right. Anyways. Okay. All right, you guys. Have a beautiful Friday. Have a beautiful we weekend. We are really looking forward to seeing you smashing the TKC like a boss, as a team, as a fam bam, as an army. Alicia. I see you. She asked such good questions in this round of the Raw. I see you, girl. I see she you. She requested to be my friend, it seems. We just became friends, Alicia, just so you know. All right, Woo! you guys, you're freaking awesome. We hope you have a beautiful weekend. We look forward to seeing you on Monday for the TKC. Bye. Bye, guys.